announced that New Jersey Task Force One has been activated and members will arrive in Texas Monday morning. Now originally deployed to San Antonio, the team has now been rerouted to the town of Katy, Texas because the roads out of San Antonio to Houston have become impassable. The team will assist with searching, rescuing, planning, logistics, hazmat and medical. States from coast to coast are assisting in this Texas disaster, bringing people together to help each other. Here's the problem. The rain isn't expected to take a break anytime soon. Meteorologist Chelsea Ingram is tracking Harvey as the storm dumps feet of water miles inland from the Gulf. Chelsea, hard to believe. It is very hard to believe indeed. Here's the latest information in from the National Hurricane Center. Of course, Harvey, still a tropical storm at this point in time with winds of around 40 miles per hour. The takeaway from the storm track is that it's really not going to be moving very much at all over the next week. In fact, even on Friday, as we head into Friday, that could still be impacting portions of eastern Texas. Here's the latest look at Storm Scan 3. A big concern that I have right now is this plume of moisture developing over the Gulf and feeding right into the Houston area once again, reminiscent of what we saw this time last night. We have a couple active tornado warnings as well as this ongoing flooding threat continues. So more rain to come over the coming days. Little movement uh, with this storm. Additional rainfall amounts will range anywhere from about 15 to 25 inches and up to 50 inches will be possible in some locations. We'll draw your attention now to the southeast coast of the United States where we are following potentially another tropical entity developing. I'll let you know how this could be impacting the mid-Atlantic. Atlantic and your full forecast coming up for now. Joe, back to you. Chelsea, thank you so much.